He got more than a warm handshake when Libya's pro-democracy leader Mustafa Abdel Jalil went to 10 Downing Street in London on Thursday. He was promised more military and financial support by British Prime Minister David Cameron and recognition that the opposition Transitional National Council you, is like Libya's future. The National Transitional Council is the legitimate political interlocutor in Libya and Britain's primary partner there. Just as Gaddafi can have no part in the political transition that lies ahead, it is clear that the National Transitional Council will play a leading role. They represent the future of Libya as much as Gaddafi represents its past. I have come here to express my thanks and gratitude to the British government and people for uh, their support. And I appreciate what uh, the Prime Minister has said. Uh, in terms of uh, increasing uh, military support uh, through NATO. And uh, through the uh, decisions and resolutions by the international community. Uh, community. Uh, in terms of providing protection for civilians. And also, uh, the Prime Minister talked about uh, uh, economic help in accordance with the law. It was another seal of approval for the rebels and a slap in the face for the Libyan leader, Muammar Gaddafi, who has been suffering setbacks both diplomatically and militarily. His appearance on state TV with tribal leaders in an apparent show of unity looked contrived as his regime tries to portray themselves as the victim. And more images appeared of what it said was the latest NATO air attack on the capital Tripoli. Journalists were taken to a site near to Gaddafi's compound where three civilians were killed and who they claimed had nothing to do with the military. I'm standing in a front of a children's playground. They were hit by five rockets last night. Three people died. On the battlefronts, more apparent bad news for Gaddafi. Rebels say they have been having success in the west of the country and also around the besieged city of Misrata, where they claim to have pushed Gaddafi's forces completely out. Misrata is now completely liberated from Gaddafi and his forces. The airport in Misrata was the launching zone for Gaddafi's forces and praise be to God, it's now under the control of our revolutionary forces. The rest of the area east and west of Misrata are now completely void of any Gaddafi loyalists for an area approximately 40 kilometers away from Misrata. It's buoyed the opposition movement, which is suffering from frustration at the slow pace of the liberation war most had hoped would be over by now. Mr Jalil is hoping to get the same warm reception when he meets senior members of the Obama administration in Washington on Friday and that further recognition of his movement will lead to them gaining control of Libya's assets frozen around the world estimated at being around 160 billion dollars and that will help strengthen their fight both politically and militarily. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Benghazi.